Hello, independent seventh grade students. It's Mrs. Douglas and Mrs. Hinckley here with you again today. And today we are working on subtracting integers. And so you may remember this from the beginning of the school year when you have a problem like 12 minus 15. That minus sign is saying warning. Someone's not who they say they are. It's the guy on the right. And we learn to do keep, change, opposite, just exactly like it says right here to rewrite subtraction as adding. So we rewrote it as keeping the first number. So I'm going to keep that 12. We change that sign to an addition sign. And then we are going to write the opposite of a positive 15, which is a negative 15. Keep, change, opposite. So now when I'm looking at this to see well, hmm, who has the most, the positives or the negatives, I'm thinking which one would be more, 12 or 15, and there are more with the 15 than there are with the 12. And so I know that 15 is more than 12 by three. I'm actually just subtracting 15 minus 12, sorry. And um, because there would be more negatives, then I fly that negative flag. And so you've got just two practice problems on that one. And then you get to see your next example. On your next example, we again are seeing that it says 23 minus a negative six. And again, it gives us the hint to rewrite the subtraction as adding the opposite. And so again, I'm going to keep, change, opposite. I am keeping this 23. I am going to change this subtraction to addition, and then I'm going to do the opposite of this negative six. The opposite of a negative six is a positive six. So now I have the problem 23 plus six. 23 plus six is 29. And so I have my solution of 29. You have some practice problems below. Good luck, seventh graders. And hope you have a good day.